hello everyone now we are going to start a new topic and that is uh, pump the function and the types of pump so reciprocating and the centrifugal pump which is a part of our syllabus so we'll be discussing this in detail so pump is a device or machine which is used for raising or driving the compressing fluid or gas by means of piston and the cylinder or the piston or the plunger arrangement or we can have the same function by using a rotating vents so pump a device which will raise or which will drive the fluids or the gases so classifications of the pumps are based on as a reciprocating as well as a centrifugal pump which is a part of our syllabus and the discussion in this lecture as name suggest reciprocating pumps the motion of the piston or the plunger kind of arrangement it is by action of reciprocation in case of centrifugal pump a centrifugal force is developed to drive the fluids at desired heads so we'll discuss this both the pump functions and working with the animations and the 2d sketches in the next slides so reciprocating pump is basically a similar kind of device as internal combustion engine so it is having a piston connecting rod and the cylinder arrangement which is we call hence we call as a reciprocating pump so we are discussing here single stroke reciprocating pump and in case of centrifugal device a pump which converts the kinetic energy into pressure energy by means of rotating impeller fluid flow from inlet that means from i section or from the center of that vein it is carried out and the last point here the kinetic energy from rotating impeller is transferred to the water in the form of pressure energy thus the pressure head increases this points are very general terms with the reference to the pump so we'll just explain first type as a reciprocating pump so here you can observe on the right side there is animation which is similar to the piston cylinder as your four stroke petrol or diesel engine working here we don't have a combustion in all the exhaust gases it is just an a reciprocating action given by a piston cylinder that is piston connecting rod crank everything is same so for a reciprocating pump here now i'll explain with the 2d sketches as well as the video so when suction takes place from the reservoir let's say here we have the source of fluid which we need to pump so when the suction wall opens the suction takes place and during the suction this piston moves from from this center we call as the top dead center and bottom here we call as inner and outer dead center let's say this is inner dead center so it moves from this to this position during this motion of piston water gets sucked inside this area then after this let us assume piston is here and it contains full of water here or any fluid it need not to be water every time it may be any fluid which is sucked in a suction stroke then this wall gets closed and when again that piston moves from this outer dead center to inner dead center it will push it will push this water and because of the pressure energy of that fluid this discharge wall gets open and water is delivered at high head or at desired pressure and that's the working of reciprocating pump same you need to draw this schematic sketch for example and of you a piston cylinder arrangement here mentioned the piston positions you can see in suction stroke this wall gets open piston moves from inner to outer dead center then this wall gets closed during the another delivery discharge stroke that water is delivered at high level at desired 
head that is pressure head so height from the sump is called as a suction head and from this position to the discharge point this is called as a delivery head so this is a working of a reciprocating pump so yes you can again summarize here with this video suction and discharge only the two steps as a working of reciprocating pump next type is centrifugal pump so the basic function of pump remains same to supply the water at high head with desired pressure and velocity so in this video you can animation you can observe that waters or the fluid it is it is starting from at the center that is mentioned as a fluid inlet and that bubbles or that actually the flow of fluid it is initiating from the center and you'll observe the motion of the two circles basically they are not concentric guide vanes guides the motion of that fluid impeller there is actually the suction takes place and finally at desired pressure and velocity that fluid is discharged so now we will discuss this as working so here at the we call as i i of the impeller here the negative pressure takes place that we call the suction so let us assume here we have a sump this is a sump inlet pipe and here we have the source of let's say water so suction takes place so there is negative pressure created at the eye of the impeller which sucks the water from the sump or from the reservoir that water is lifted that is a suction takes place and because of the shape of this diffuser casing and the impeller that water is guided and allowed to discharge at the design or the required height that we call the desired pressure head as well as desired velocity head so basically this centrifugal action between the eye of the impeller and the diffuser casing diffuser casing which provides the pumping action hence the name given is a centrifugal pump so while drawing the diagram remember one thing this impeller as well as this shape diffuser they are not concentric this area is gradually increasing so that we can provide a this discharge at desired pressure so you can observe this diagram on this left side here we have sections at eye of the impeller at the center this is the suction takes place at the center from suction side and this continuously increasing cross section area here in this 2d sketch you can easily observe the difference the water is discharged because of centrifugal action so you need to explain suction at the eye of impeller and the centrifugal action does the pumping action so this is the working of centrifugal pump and the 2d sketch we need to draw an example i hope it is clear about the pump the basic function classification as reciprocating centrifugal and their working the next along with the pump another very important is compressor again the uh, constructions are more or less similar to the engine so reciprocating compressors they are positive displacement machine so basic function of compressor is to compress the air we are having air compressor so surrounding air is sucked in a suction stroke which is compressed after compression pressure as well as temperature of that air increases which we supply to the receiver so the function is to compress the air this is a 2d sketch which you can draw an exam for understanding i'll explain with this video so the diagram this animation is similar to your four stroke or two stroke engine but it's not basically engine it's a compressor it's a power absorbing device 
so there are two strokes you can observe the blue color is inlet and the red color is like outlet only two stroke one is section another is discharge so for reciprocating air compressor in a suction stroke this wall opens that is suction wall surrounding air is sucked inside a cylinder suction wall gets open during a suction this piston moves from this top dead center to bottom dead and whole suction takes place then this wall gets closed now again piston moves from tdc to from the bottom side bdc to top dead center and during this as the both walls are closed compression takes place and the pressure as well as temperature of that air increases and because of pressure rise of that air this discharge wall gets opened and this high pressure air is delivered to the receiver that is the working of reciprocating air compressor again you can observe the motion A blue color indicates the suction in suction as it is a surrounding air so normal temperature room temperature air it sucked when the pressure inside cylinder is slightly low so that is the suction pressure suction wall opens piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center again it is smooth from bottom to top while it compression takes place during compression pressure as well as temperature rise takes place because of high pressure we design the discharge wall accordingly that wall gets opened and we deliver that high pressure air to the receiver so that is a working of reciprocating air compressor the next part is refrigeration and air conditioning so this is very important we know that in day to day life we might have heard about refrigerator as well as air conditioner that is ac vapor compression refrigeration called as a vcr cycle the it is a device refrigerator is a device which transfer the heat from low to high with the help of input as a work supplied so we know this thing from a thermodynamics there are different refrigerants are used as gas which flows inside the closed system as a cycle so cfcs hfcs along with the some gases are mentioned here ammonia co2 but rather than this we use hydrocarbons r134a the different refrigerants are used for this cycle it consists of four major parts compressor condenser expansion wall and the evaporator receiver is a small part which receives as a it acts as a reservoir so we'll just say the major parts are only four compressor condenser expansion wall and evaporator this is a schematic diagram of vcr vapor compression cycle how refrigeration takes place so we always start with compressor so let's say first point which i want to discuss is point 1 before compression i'll say this is before compression this is a compressor as a device which compresses so you can just show either circle or disk sketch then i it is having a condenser expansion wall and evaporator as a fridge very important so compresses basic as it is a gas let us say we are talking about a refrigerant one gas is flowing inside the cycle so compressor compresses that gas after compression at point 2 let us say this is point 1 before compression after compression pressure as well as temperature both increases because we know that after compression pressure and temperature increases for refrigerant in condenser that temperature which is raised that we don't want so that we need to reduce so in the condenser that heat is rejected so we say q rejected to reduce the temperature pressure remains constant for condensation so we say we get at point 3 after condensation 
pressure is high because it is high pressure after compression but temperature is slightly reduced now very important heart of this device as expansion wall as capillary tube many times so expansion device where expansion takes place and these high pressure and low temperature liquid form it is available in the liquid form refrigerant it is expanded so this liquid is gets converted again of course into the liquid form when you are expanding it that becomes a very low very low pressure and temperature liquid that is our desired process which we want so exactly in case of expansion when we have a high pressure high pressure liquid when it is allowed to fall large pressure down its temperature also decreases so hence the last very important part as a device vcr cycle refrigerator as a freeze or we call it a technical evaporator when this low temperature low pressure liquid enters here it absorbs the heat from surrounding space means inside the closed space so that we say q absorbed or it is called as a cooling effect or refrigeration effect and by absorbing heat that liquid gets converted into vapor so hence the name evaporator and that vapor after the evaporation again compressed hence the name given vapor compression compressor always compresses vapor that's name given vapor compression cycle so here total four process takes place first is compression where refrigerant in the vapor form gets compressed so pressure and the temperature of that vapor both increases in condensation heat is rejected by rejecting heat the temperature drop takes place pressure remains higher that is in liquid form of course by releasing the heat that is condensation liquid expansion takes place to convert very low temperature as well as very low pressure liquid which enters into the evaporator and hence here heat absorption takes place which provides a cooling effect gets converted that gas from liquid to again vapor and again cycle is completed hence the name vapor compression refrigeration cycle i hope you understood the working of every component condensation evaporations both are constant pressure process condensation heat rejection takes place to the surrounding evaporator means inside the freezer part where the freeze absorb the heat in closed space so with this animation again you can explain with the somewhat the sequence is something different not as like a previous schematic sketch so blue color indicates the refrigerant in a low temperature format this is indicated as orange color is a high temperature after compression so here you can observe the piston cylinder as a reciprocating compressor compresses the gas that again condensed by using fan so heat is rejected you can see the right side then expansion takes place so we can see blue color after expansion a very low temperature low pressure gas enters into the evaporator and heat is absorbed by blue color arrows so that's again four major components to understand a vapor compression refrigeration cycle the applications are domestic refrigerator as well as air conditioner ac so all the acs and freeze working on the basic cycle of vcr cop for this is coefficient of performance desired effect of what work supplied so we supply work to the compressor that is our input output is cooling effect in the evaporator so heat absorbed divided by w that is the cop formula for this cycle again the same is household refrigerator you can explain the same same previous diagrams for this we need not draw any anything else window air conditioner it works on the same vcr cycle vapor compression refrigeration you need to just know about 
what are the different component in case of window air conditioner some part that is 50 percent part is kept outside the window which is exposed to the surrounding and the part of evaporator it is inside the room air conditioning is conditioning the air controlling the quality of air that is velocity temperature humidity whereas refrigeration is maintaining the low temperature with respect to surrounding refrigeration is expressed in terms of tons of refrigeration that is capital tr that tr indicates tons of refrigeration that is 1 tr indicates capacity to freeze 1 ton of water from an at 0 degree celsius in 24 hours so 1 tr 1 tr is nothing but capacity to freeze 1 ton of water in short for window air conditioner again the four components are same additional to this we have one more device called as fan and the blower which is mounted on the same shaft so evaporator side is placed inside the room whereas condenser side is placed outside the room here red color points indicates after compression high temperature gas and the blue color after this you can observe that are the dots which are flowing here they are indicates low temperature gas which provides a cooling so conditioning air ac that simply means conditioning controlling the quality of air as a humidity temperature or the volume flow rate of air in enclosed space the unit for this is also tr you might have heard about acs are available in the capacity of tons of refrigeration i hope it is a basics of air conditioning and refrigeration which is again working on you can draw a kind of diagram in the exam which is given in the notes you just follow this diagram which is given in the comment section so this is useful to understand window air conditioner as well as ac working if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you